Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the five kingdom system of classification. So this is this five kingdom system of classification was put forward in order to overcome the disadvantages and limitations of the previous system of classifications like the two kingdom system, the three kingdom and the four kingdom system of classification. So this uh, system was put forward by the famous scientist R. H. Whittaker in the year 1969. So this is a very important name for most of your uh, competitive examinations. Now this scientist R. H. Whittaker, he used several criteria in order to classify in, uh, organisms into five kingdom classification. So what are those? First of all, the complexity of cell structure. Based on this, he classified into two groups, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes, as we know, prokaryotes means primitive uh, nucleus, that is organisms which do not have a true nucleus, whereas eukaryotes, they have got a true nucleus. Now, the next criteria used was the structural organization, that is either the uh, organism is unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular means organisms where one cell itself is an organism, for example, bacteria. And multicellular means organisms like us. Multicellular means a number of cells make up the organism. Next uh, criteria used was the mode, mode of nutrition. What is this? It According to that, there are two criteria, two uh, groups. First of all, autotrophic and the next is heterotrophic. Autotrophic organisms are those which can make their own food with the help of chlorophyll. Plants, we know this. And heterotrophic means which cannot make their own food but is dependent on the autotrophs for their nutrition. The next criteria used was the mode of reproduction which can be of two types, sexual and asexual mode of reproduction. Sexual mode of reproduction is usually biparental in which it involves the fusion of the male and the female gametes. Whereas compared to the asexual reproduction, it is uniparental that is only one parent is required here and the fusion of male and female gamete is not required in case of asexual reproduction. And the fifth criteria used was the phylogenetic relationships, which means the evolutionary relationships were also considered by Whittaker in his five kingdom system of classification. Now let us look into the reason why this five kingdom system of classification was put forward. Now in the previous system of classification like the two kingdom system, the three kingdom and the four kingdom system, those systems they included bacteria, blue-green algae, fungi, mosses, ferns, gymnosperms and angiosperms. All of these organisms were included under plants, which is not correct, we know. Most importantly, the character which was used for this uh, these type of uh, grouping was cell wall. So cell wall was the pri primary or the ma major criteria used by scientists in order to classify the organisms. Now, Earlier, both unicellular and multicellular organisms were grouped into a particular in, in the same group. For example, bacteria and plants, animals were grouped into a same group, which is not correct. Fungi and plants were included in the same group, though they had significant amount of differences in their cell wall composition. So, fungi came into the same group as that of plants, just because it has got cell wall. And now in the five kingdoms uh, classification attempt was made to consider the phylogenetic relationship which was not considered in the previous system of classifications. Here the phylogenetic or the evolutionary relationships were considered in addition to morphological, physiological and reproductive similarities. Now let us look into a schematic diagram of this five kingdom system of classification. This diagram will be very useful for your examinations. Let us look. So uh, there are the five kingdoms like kingdom monera, kingdom protista, kingdom animalia, fungi and kingdom plantae. Now see here that there is eukaryotes and prokaryotes. So just below this line only this kingdom that is kingdom monera they are the prokaryotes. Above this all are eukaryotes. Now let us look into this criteria that is multicellular and unicellular. So below this line that is Till here, kingdom protista and kingdom monera, they are all unicellular organisms. Whereas other organisms which include these, they include kingdom plantae, kingdom fungi and kingdom animalia, which are all multicellular organisms. Also take a note on the direction of evolution, which includes from monera to all these like kingdom plantae, fungi and animalia. So this is the direction of evolution. 
So in this video, we have talked about the five kingdom system of classification which was put forward by R.H. Whittaker. We have also talked about the criteria used by scientist Whittaker in order to classify five kingdom classification. We also uh, took a note on why there was a need to do this five kingdom system of classification and also importantly we have looked into a schematic diagram of the five kingdom system of classification. I hope you have understood and enjoyed this video. Thank you.